today, everybody. This is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win number 1,182, but more importantly, it is my very first time in the great country. It is beautiful here, the country of Cambodia. My first time in Cambodia, which will be new country, number 39 for me, so I am very pumped about that. We've got lots of people here. Uh, Katina and I are here for a few days in the capital city of Cambodia. We are here in Phnom Penh. We are all here at Motor Cafe. Now there are two locations around the Phnom Penh area. Uh, we are here at the Chaba and Pool uh, location, which is actually in Bong Shno Food Village. So I am here hoping to become just the second person to dominate their three kilo Big Grill Cambodian Meat Platter Challenge. Now, I've only got 45 minutes to finish everything here. Everything looks absolutely delicious. So uh, this is gonna be the bulk of the challenge because these sauces and stuff over here are not required. I am gonna get these healthy vegetables down. Uh, probably not all that garlic, maybe, we'll see. But then there's this healthy salad over here along with some German mustard. Uh, a lot of this is optional, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna focus over here. Now, there's a whole bunch of Cambodian meats along with other stuff uh, in here that's bulking everything up is a massive pork knuckle. So it's been a while since I've done a pork knuckle. We've got a whole bunch of lamb chops uh, underneath this ribeye meat. And then we've got, I think, like a total of 14 sausages. There's like three or four different kinds. Uh, but I do have, this is a beer that is just optional. Uh, it is one of, it's a Cambodian local beer. It is uh, Watanak. Uh, which apparently the V is pronounced as a W here. I'm gonna enjoy that along the way, but yeah. 45 minutes, if I fail, it's gonna be 700,000 Cambodian real, uh, which is pretty much 156 US dollars. They actually priced some things in US dollars here, which I thought was very interesting. But if I finish everything, I'm gonna get my entire meal free. No sweet t-shirt, but I will be the second person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame here at Motor Cafe. So big thank you to them. Let's get this challenge started. All right, it is 9.36 p.m. here in Phnom Penh. This is one of the latest food challenges I've ever done. So we usually try to do uh, during the day. So I'm gonna do my best and uh, dominate the big thank you to everybody here with Motor Cafe uh, here in Phnom Penh. So let's get them their second winner. One, two, three, boom. All right, let's dig in and start with some of this lamb. Mmm, that is good. This is apparently German sausage. It looks juicy. We do have people watching our channel from Cambodia, which is awesome to know. Thanks to everybody in Cambodia watching our videos. I knew this was gonna be good because I asked where the ribeye is actually from and I figured Australia since that's closer, but they said American uh, beef is better. USDA uh, ribeye, of course, with Cambodian uh, Khmer um, seasonings, delicious. And it's all cooked medium rare, just like I want it. Apparently this is pepper sauce. And I did say Sue's today at the beginning, which means hello uh, in Khmer, which is the local uh, Cambodian language. Motor Cafe is freaking, it's crazy awesome in here. You should see the stage where the band is playing, which they have live music all the time. Uh, but not only is this sign sweet, but 
It's all basically the front of like what the dashboard looks like on a race car. Food's so good, we are seven and a half minutes in. All right, let's try another sip of this. Watanak is a premium beer, and it is for all of life's moments. Hopefully win number one in Cambodia. Let's go to uh, more lamb chops. All right, 11 minutes, 45 seconds in, we're getting there. Uh, this is the last piece of ribeye. It's not exactly lean. I don't think I've had any of these, and I think there's four of them, so let's do some of these next. This tastes Asian. I don't know what that means, but it tastes, this tastes German, this tastes Asian. I haven't tasted that many sausages, I guess, so. It's pretty hot here in Phnom Penh right now, but I'm glad that we were in Bangkok, Thailand uh, before this because it was way hot there, uh, which makes it seem not as bad here. Uh, we're actually enjoying it. The weather, the people, the food, everything is beautiful here in Cambodia. If you've never been, definitely uh, it's worth the trip. So you're trying to decide which sauce is my favorite. This was a good one, but I'm gonna give the winner to that one, which I liked all of them, thankfully. There were 14 of them, but almost done. 19 minutes, 20 seconds in. Um, do I have this whole moose knuckle down? Pork knuckle, I keep frickin' doing that. That is done. Yeah. Not that I've eaten any of it yet. Ooh. I haven't done a pork knuckle challenge in a very long time. I think since England many years ago. All right, Katina's working on getting me a soda to help get this crunchiness down. I'm gonna work on uh, finishing this healthy salad. We got up at like uh, 6.30 to go see the Royal Palace. It was really neat. Before, uh, it was a private tour. It was very cool. Got to uh, arm wrestle the king. It was pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> I let him win. Yeah. I wanted to stay in the country. I like it here. This sauce I'm gonna give to somebody else. It's like super spicy. Here in Cambodia, there's a papaya salad yes. that is like, you wouldn't think it's spicy, but who? We go through like two bottles of water each little side dish. 29, 26. I'm trying to calm my stomach down. 32 minutes in.
I'm gonna keep this, but give the rest off to Katina. This stuff is just uh, sauce that's not required, and Katina, I'm sure, doesn't want me to have a whole clove of garlic. Uh, we would never kiss for like a week. <laughs> All right, just this, I got nine minutes to go. These pork skins taste like, oh, they are pork skins. <laughs> what a dumb, oh my God. Okay, that is the dumbest thing I've said today. And I've said some dumb things. Yeah, these taste like pork rinds. Now I know why. Oh my God, okay. All right, don't look at it. All right, apparently it was German cabbage, was the German style, was the, uh, the purple. And then uh, the other is delicious too, both are good, but oh, we're almost done and I am gonna try to finish the beer. Yes. here at Motor Cafe, but oh, finish off this beer and then we are done. My first win in Cambodia, uh, whatever it is, and come here, cheers to that. I can't say that I dominate it, but it is a win. Uh, I do have the new record, 42 minutes and 43 seconds. Ooh, I cannot say enough about how delicious all of that meat was. Uh, I know it was like USA, USDA, uh, ribeye. Um, there was other meats from all around the world, I think, but it all had Khmer uh, Cambodian spices on it. Meat was all delicious. So big thank you to the chefs, the staff, everybody here with Motor Cafe. And then of course, uh, big thank you to everybody here in the Phnom Penh area for coming up to meet Katina and I while here. Uh, tonight it was overall victory number 1,182. Uh, I don't really know what my favorite part of that was. Uh, all of the sausages were great. Um, I guess I'm gonna give it, it's kind of cheating because it's always so good, but those lamb chops were very good, uh, especially dipped into the sauces and all that. But now it is time for, I've heard that Cambodian desserts are great. Uh, so we'll see what's on the dessert menu here. At Motor Cafe, very cool to be here. Like I said, it's an awesome place. All here in Chabal Ampul. If you like this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. I know you will like those as well, but either way, I'll catch you in the next video, win before you begin. And as they say here in Cambodia, Arkun Tran, thank you very much for watching. Yeah.